Number 10. Doctor Doom made his first appearance in The Fantastic Four number 5, which was published in July 1962 by Marvel Comics. Created by writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby, Doctor Doom is one of Marvel's most iconic and enduring villains, known for his intelligence, mastery of technology and sorcery, and his bitter rivalry with the Fantastic Four, particularly with Reed Richards' Mr. Fantastic. Number 9. Dr. Doom, also known as Victor Von Doom, was born in the fictional nation of Latveria in Eastern Europe. His origin story varies slightly across different interpretations, but generally follows a similar trajectory. As a child, Victor was a brilliant and ambitious student who grew up in poverty after his parents died. He eventually won a scholarship to study in the United States, where he met Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, Ben Grimm, The Thing, and Sue and Johnny Storm the Invisible Woman, and the Human Torch, who would later become the Fantastic Four. Victor's obsession with mastering science and sorcery led him to create a machine that he believed could communicate with the dead. However, the experiment went awry, resulting in an explosion that scarred Victor's face. He was subsequently expelled from the university and returned to Latveria, where he ruled as a dictator. Taking on the mantle of Dr. Doom, Victor donned a suit of armor that he designed himself, complete with advanced technology and mystical enhancements. He harbors a deep-seated hatred for Reed Richards, blaming him for the accident that scarred him and led to his expulsion. Number 8. Dr. Doom, as the ruler of Latveria, is often depicted as having diplomatic immunity in various Marvel comic storylines. This means that he is immune from prosecution or legal action by other countries while he is on diplomatic missions or representing Latveria's interests abroad. This immunity is typically granted to heads of state and diplomats to ensure that they can carry out their official duties without fear of interference or arrest. However, Dr. Doom's diplomatic immunity has also been portrayed as a source of tension and conflict in various Marvel stories, as other characters often resent his ability to evade legal consequences for his actions. Despite this immunity, Dr. Doom is still frequently portrayed as a villain who engages in nefarious schemes and clashes with superheroes like the Fantastic Four and the Avengers. Number 7 While Dr. Doom is not traditionally depicted as a magician in the sense of casting spells like a sorcerer, he is highly skilled in the mystic arts and has dabbled in various forms of magic. In addition to his scientific genius and technological prowess, Dr. Doom has studied the mystic arts extensively and has been shown to possess considerable knowledge of occult rituals, arcane artifacts, and magical incantations. Dr. Doom's mastery of magic often complements his scientific expertise, making him a formidable opponent. He has used magical artifacts, summoned mystical entities, and even forged alliances with powerful beings from other dimensions to further his goals. Overall, while Dr. Doom is primarily known for his intellect, technological inventions, and mastery of science. His proficiency in the mystic arts adds another dimension to his character and makes him an even more complex and formidable adversary. Number 6. Dr. Doom is known for his exceptional willpower, which is one of his defining characteristics. His unwavering determination and indomitable spirit are often depicted as central aspects of his personality. Despite facing numerous setbacks and challenges, Dr. Doom's willpower allows him to persevere and pursue his goals with relentless resolve. This strong willpower is evident in various aspects of Dr. Doom's character. He refuses to be deterred by failure or opposition, often displaying a single-minded focus on achieving his ambitions. Even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, Dr. Doom remains resolute and refuses to back down. Additionally, Dr. Doom's willpower is often depicted as a key factor in his ability to resist mental manipulation or psychic attacks. His formidable mind and ironclad determination make him difficult to sway or control through psychological means. Overall, Dr. Doom's exceptional willpower is one of the traits that make him such a formidable and enduring character in the Marvel Universe. It allows him to overcome obstacles, outmaneuver his enemies, and assert his dominance as one of the most iconic villains in comic book history. Number 5. Dr. Doom's obsession with saving his mother's soul from Mephisto is a significant aspect of his character's motivation and backstory. His deeply rooted desire to free her soul from torment drives many of his actions and decisions, showcasing the complex layers of his personality and the lengths he is willing to go to achieve his goals. 
The ongoing struggle between Dr. Doom and Mephisto, where Doom challenges the demonic entity once a year in a bid to win his mother's freedom, highlights the depths of Doom's determination and willpower. Despite the repeated failures and the consequences they bring upon himself and his kingdom, Doom refuses to give up on his quest to rescue his mother from damnation. Number 4 In the Secret Wars storyline, Doctor Doom attains godlike powers and becomes the ruler of Battleworld, a patchwork planet created by the powerful being known as the Beyonder. During the events of Secret Wars, various heroes and villains from the Marvel Universe are transported to Battleworld to engage in a massive conflict orchestrated by the Beyonder. As the story unfolds, Doctor Doom manages to seize control of the power of the Beyonder, becoming an omnipotent being with the ability to reshape reality according to his will. With his newfound godlike abilities, Doom creates a domain where he reigns as the supreme authority, imposing his vision of order and control upon the inhabitants of Battleworld. Under Doom's rule, Battleworld becomes a totalitarian state, with Doom enforcing his laws and punishing dissenters with ruthless efficiency. However, despite his seemingly unlimited power, Doom's rule is challenged by various heroes and villains who seek to oppose his tyranny and restore balance to Battleworld. While Doctor Doom's ascension to godhood in Secret Wars is a temporary and ultimately unsustainable state, it remains one of the most iconic and memorable moments in Marvel Comics history. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number three. In the Marvel Comics storyline Children's Crusade, Doctor Doom is responsible for the death of Cassie Lang the daughter of Scott Lang Ant-Man. In this storyline, Cassie is killed during a confrontation between the Young Avengers and Doctor Doom. As part of his plan to obtain magical powers, Doom manipulates the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff, into resurrecting her deceased children. However, this act of magic has unintended consequences, leading to chaos and conflict among various superhero teams. During the confrontation, Cassie sacrifices herself to save her teammates from an attack by Doctor Doom. Despite her efforts, Cassie is fatally injured, leading to her death. This tragic event has significant repercussions for the characters involved and serves as a pivotal moment in the storyline. Number 2 Doctor Doom Cured the Thing, Ben Grimm in a storyline called The Trial of Reed Richards in issues 40-50 to 50 of the Fantastic Four Volume 1. In this story arc, the Thing decides to leave the Fantastic Four after feeling rejected and isolated due to his monstrous appearance. Seeking a cure for his condition, he turns to Dr. Doom, believing that Doom's intellect and resources might hold the key to reversing his transformation. Surprisingly, Dr. Doom agrees to help and devises a machine that can change the thing back into his human form. However, Doom's true intentions are revealed when he uses the machine to temporarily transfer his own consciousness into the thing's body, effectively switching places with him. During this time, the thing, now inhabiting Doom's body, gains insight into Doom's psyche and learns more about his motivations and inner turmoil. Eventually, with the help of the Fantastic Four, the Thing is able to reclaim his own body, while Doctor Doom's consciousness is restored to his own body. While Doctor Doom's cure for the Thing proved to be a temporary setback for the Fantastic Four, it ultimately strengthened the team's resolve and highlighted the ongoing conflict between them and their arch-nemesis. Number 1 Dr. Doom has led the Fantastic Four on several occasions. One notable instance is in the storyline titled, Unthinkable Fantastic Four Vol. 367-70, where Dr. Doom temporarily becomes a member of the Fantastic Four. In this story arc, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, is seemingly killed, and Doom takes the opportunity to join the Fantastic Four as their new leader. He claims to have turned over a new leaf and seeks to honor Reed's memory by protecting the world in his absence. However, it is later revealed that Doom has ulterior motives and manipulates the team for his own purposes. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.